A high lake levels also forced country stampede from Manhattan to Topeka. And now tonight, the future of where the event will stay for good is up in the air. And KSNT News reporter Dan Garrett joins us live from Heartland Park to tell us why officials are making that hard to find out. Dan? Brooke, Jace, the country stampede makes its big Topeka debut this weekend, so we'll have to see how things go. But so far, the owner seems to like the new venue. But one thing he won't confirm is if it's going to come back again next year. Thomas Duke is getting his camper set up for his third country stampede. He's waiting to see how things go in Topeka this year. Uh, I was a little bummed just because I've been to it in Manhattan every year and there's a lot more shade and campgrounds pretty wild over there. So The festival moved from Tuttle Creek to Heartland Park after the area became flooded. But one question is still unclear. Will the stampede move back to Manhattan next year? We checked with several people who might know. A spokeswoman at Heartland Park told us no comment. Representatives of Manhattan's and Topeka's Chamber of Commerce say they had not heard anything. When we asked the owner of the country stampede about the future today, he wouldn't say and only told us that he's focusing on this year's event. We've had a tremendous amount of positive comments from the campers and people that are out here. But for fans who are camping out days in advance, they're more focused on this year's action. The campgrounds are filling up and it's looking really good, looking promising. Wherever the event goes will have a major impact on the economy. The Manhattan Chamber of Commerce says they're taking an $8 million hit for not having the event in Manhattan this year. Live at Heartland Motorsports Park, Dan Garrett, KSNT News. All right, thank you, Dan. And even though people are camping now, the event doesn't start until Thursday at 1 for the general public.